Hello everyone, welcome uh, to my first talk show here. Um, since all the talk shows have been preempted on uh, pretty much everything, I guess, and we're all been quarantined. Some are more quarantined than others, like I was just in Africa. So um, here's, here's the first thing, I'm, we had a lively show tonight. Here's our first guest we have. I don't have anyone over here. I'm actually gonna try to get the mayor over here, Ted. I don't know if you're going to watch this, but we're going to try to get Ted over here. Um, someone else said she was going to come over and be a guest. She's in the medical field, but um, she might want to talk about other stuff. But, well, we'll see what happens. But here's our first guest. We have a big thing of toilet paper here. And because every, this is all the rage in pop culture right now. It doesn't have to be the northern... Um, everyone talks about toilet paper and all the hoarding of it. I had actually bought this a couple years ago because I think like with Staples, I could get like 10 Sky Miles for every dollar spent. And I actually bought like three years worth, so like way too much stuff. And then of course people are, are going gangbusters with their ammo and stuff. So I'm all prepared here for the zombie apocalypse semi-automatic rifle ready to go um, it's been a long time since I shot this but um, well the block thing is in here and then I have all sorts of ammo here and these things people are going crazy with this stuff but these are the first two guests on my show it comes with a, a scope um, whatever but those are the first two guests the things people are buying a lot of oh yeah Cuban rum if you want a big uh, drink Cuban rum, and I was going to wear my Bigfoot socks, but you guys wouldn't see them. The only socks I have are um, vacation socks with the pineapples on them. I thought those would be really good to have. And then, of course, our show tonight is being sponsored by Corona Beer. Um, if you do come over, you, you get yourself a Corona Beer. Ooh, it's tasty. Everyone, if you have one at home. What, what, what does it mean if it's extra? I honestly don't know. At any rate, it's wonderful Corona beer. And we have a big show tonight. Um, here's what I'm uh, traveling. That's all the issue. And I have a question for everyone. Okay, so I was traveling a lot. And here's... No one ever questioned this. I have an actual Chinese visa from January 12th through the 13th. And when people were stamping it, no one went through this and actually looked in my passport and noticed that I have a very recent visa from China, but I didn't get the Chinese virus here. And at any rate, like I said, we're sponsored by Corona. I'll probably dump that out later on. I don't know. Okay, so now, um, did anyone uh, watch the Governor Walls press conference? And I did watch it, but I really wasn't paying much attention because the interpreter, the ALS gal in the back with the short hair, she was totally doing her thing. And I, I thought, my thoughts were, if there was a mosh pit breaking out and Metallica was playing, she would be more interested in jumping into that than actually doing a sign language for the for the governor. I honestly didn't know what he said because um, I was so distracted by her. So I, whatever. So, okay. So, and then another thing, and you all need to do your 2020. And I should have had it over here, but your 2020 census, that's sent out. And as long as you're all quarantined, you need to do it. And one thing they did add for the whole, since we're quarantined right now, you can check off that you're a zombie or you're near dead because you have the virus. And a paranoid zombie, that's another thing you can check off and make sure you have your many genders, of course, of the zombie. That's something you could check off. Uh, I don't know if they're giving you extra time with that. So hopefully this is all being coming through on Facebook Live. I have no idea. Maybe you can't even hear me. I don't know. Okay, and then, of course, another thing in the news is the sad 
that we have the passing of Kenny Rogers. I always thought he looked a lot like Dan Haggerty from, what was that show where he was in the outdoors and he had the, the grizzly bear? I always thought when I was a kid they were the same person, but they're not. And, uh, well, at any rate, the top five list of the best Kenny Rogers songs that were turned into made-for-television movies include uh, number five, Coward of the County, and Remember the Gatlin Brothers. Uh, well, at any remember he was growing up and he got picked on all the time, probably in junior high mostly, and he was older and the Gatlin boys came calling Larry and his brothers, they showed up to um, his girlfriend's house. Her name was Becky, and uh, he just couldn't take it anymore, the coward of the county. What was his name? I can't remember. Put it in the comments and, and whatever, and he went and he just went crazy, and he beat them all up. Final blow, this one's for Becky, and he watched the last one fall. Remember that one? That was number five, made for TV movie. Number four was Lucille. Um, Lucille did him wrong. She left him, uh, presumably for another dude, right? And the, the kids were left, not, but all they had was oatmeal to eat at home. Remember that? Um, they left me eating nothing but oatmeal. Number three is number three, uh, the gambler. Um, Kenny is on a train bound for who knows where. Probably the same thing that the Journey song. Um, what am I thinking of? What song is that? Where Journey. One part of the, the, the train was the Journey thing. And then uh, the, the gambler, Kenny, loses his shirt gambling. And I think right after that he went to Gamblers Anonymous. And that was the issue with that. But, uh, yeah, he checked himself into rehab after that. Not for drugs, not for alcohol. Um, it, he had a gambling problem. And so thank goodness for that. And then Ruby, number f four, uh, he, he uh, did his patriotic chore with uh, who knows what Asian war it was. Because we're always at war with Asia, be it, well, I'm not going to say anything, viruses or whatever, because I would be not very PC, but... Uh, Korea, Vietnam, whatever. Ruby goes into town. He was begging her not to. And uh, he, um, I think he wanted to do it wrong. Right? It, it was a made for TV movie. That's number four. Number five, uh, number one, excuse me, is uh, a duet with Dottie West. She died several years ago. I think it was a car crash. Excuse me. Um, and, uh, uh, I feel sorry for anyone who isn't me tonight. Remember that one came out about circa 1980. They did a whole album together. And it was kind of a risque song. And uh, they, I think they had a lot of fights with the networks about it because it was kind of a risque uh, afternoon delight sort of song. Of course, when I was growing up, I always thought that song, Skyrockets in Flight, 1976, I thought the song was about you know launching rockets and so on but when i was older it was a lot more than than, than rockets it kind of kind of ruined the song for me i wish it was just about i guess i could make it be about rockets but let's be honest it's more than uh, at any rate so that's the that it was made into a tv movie um i feel sorry for anyone who isn't me tonight and if you think I'm bragging, well, you're right. You're going to have to YouTube that on your own. I think there's a YouTube. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So, now, a lot of people are stuck at home, such as myself. And darn it, I was going to have this sheet of paper. They gave me an official sheet of paper that I got from the CDC when I came through Detroit Airport. And I'm supposed to be filling it out. I'm not because I don't have a thermometer. I can't find one. And um, I forget the point of my story. At any rate, I'm in quarantine. Oh, yeah, that's the point of my story. You all should be ordering food from different places. I ordered, of course, um, one, a, a local restaurant, we'll call it. And it's wonderful food. 
and you should all maybe I should want a restaurant here restaurant here is that is that a word or can I just make up words I'm trying to watch the nature on PBS right now and do the, the, the show here but um, a local restaurant I drove down there and I picked up and this is what I had and for my main entree, I had Manchio's style pasta. And probably, you know, since this was pickup order. Oh, someone's at the door. Darn it. Let's see who it is. Am I supposed to ask for toilet paper? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Come on in. You're our first guest. Come on in. Come on in here. Here, sit down. Our first guest, oh, yeah, Liam. Take the tear. Sit down there. Our first guest, we're on Facebook Live. Did your uh, parents send you over? Yeah, the mom did. Okay, nice. We have our first guest. I'll kind of put that away. You're not old enough, are you? For I Liam who lives across the street. He's a, he, uh, are you going to be uh, mowing lawns and all this year? Yeah, I'll be cutting grass. Okay. And um, how can they get a hold of you? Well, they can text me. Okay, um, they could just send me a message and you can do all sorts of, um... Are we going to be shooting the toilet paper? Well, there's no, well, no, we wouldn't, because this is like, this is like gold. <laughs> this is like, no, we don't want to shoot this. This is worth a lot of money. No, we don't want to shoot that. We would shoot, so, like, the Corona. We, we would <laughs> shoot the Corona. That, so it must be working. People are actually watching. So the guns that keep people from taking it home. Yes, or whatever, so, yeah, so, yeah, but it's got the safety on there, look, so, so it actually is working, people are actually watching my okay. talk show, okay, yeah. well, good, my neighbor here, but if you need someone to do yard work, and you're off school right now? Yes. Okay, so, so right. school, sports are off, I'm assuming, uh, any kind of yard work, Liam, I can vouch for him. Contact me. I'll contact him. That's probably your best option. And uh, while well, you're our first guest on our show, um, there you go. That's our first guest. All right. You probably don't want to hang out, do you? No. No, I didn't think you do. Yeah, take that with her. Yeah, take a with. Yeah. Yeah. Here, we'll sign it for you. Should I send Frankie over next, or do you should get Peggy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, send Peggy over. I'll text her. Peg one. There we go. There we go. We'll do that. So, did you gun? Oh yeah, we want to. Okay. Yeah. So rifles and so. Right. If there's any trouble, I'll come over. This thing is a semi-automatic. <laughs> so yeah, we already have our first guest. Now we get to get the mayor over here. So that would be wonderful. Well, thanks for stopping by. Right, see we'll later. see you in the next movie. Okay. So, where was it? Okay. So I picked up some food, and the first thing I had here was. Uh, Manchino style pasta and you can never go wrong with that. It's always a safe bet um, I, I think they put maybe too much vinegar on it, but it was a, a pickup and they're all trying to master it and so there you go and If you go there at this local restaurant uh, Manchino style pasta they, they would get a perfect um Kind of as a side, we had uh, um, Wanasta glazed bell peppers topped with um, top the tater and just the right amount of top the tater. And I like things kind of spicy, and that was uh, Wanasta glazed bell pepper. Loved it. It was awesome. And so I'm not going to name the, the restaurant where I got this. And for dessert, it was layered. I love chocolate. A lot of you are big chocolate fans. Um, we had uh, sour mandasted chocolate, triple layer, and with the right amount of Cool Whip on top. It was spectacular. And uh, I'm not going to say the name of the restaurant. I'm hoping to get some restaurant deers over here. And uh, instead of toilet paper as a guest. Uh, hopefully our mayor will come over and we can have him over for a guest. Instead of rifles and... Cuban rum. I think is Cuban rum even legal anymore? Or oh yeah, make sure you guys have uh, plenty of rounds here. Um, 
whatever for the zombie apocalypse. That's all the rage right now. Uh, what else can I show? I don't know what else. We're getting near the end of the show right now. Um, I should probably finish my Corona. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's not bad. White Claw, I know some of you guys are clamoring about the White Claw. And I know I'm reading some minds right now. Where's the White Claw? And I should have, I know I was wondering, we should have those people over for guests. All right, so now, um, we all, some of you guys, you go around, maybe family members, and you have, I don't have actual masks, but what I'm thinking is, I guess you can use these. Can you use these for TP? I don't know, but instead of just going around with like a bland mask, oh, look at me, I'm super boring, I'm super boring. What you can do is take your Sharpie marker and here's what I don't get. I mean, this is a permanent marker. Here's what I've never understood. Why are permanent always in with dry erase. Have you guys ever noticed that? Who's ever had to work with like dry erase markers? Why is there always a, 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 a permanent one mixed in with the dry erase ones? And all of a sudden you go, oh no. But it, the antidote to that is to get off the permanent on a whiteboard. In fact, my next show, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a map up here and we're going to, um, well, that'll be my next show. Um, what you do is you take the dry erase and you just go over the permanent on the whiteboard and you rub it off, it'll disappear. It's the antidote. I mean, we, we, we can come up with an antidote for the dry erase marker. We just can't come up with the, the coronavirus yet. That's the corona. Anytime I say coronavirus, I should take a drink. So, um, so, so you got your bland mask. Did I tell you the story, guys, about me being at the Detroit airport with the CDC? Did I tell you guys that? So, in the line, you know, he's got the, the shield, and then he's got the mask. I can't understand where he's throwing. And, no, I understood what he's saying, but I'm pretending I don't know what he's saying. And he starts, he's got the mask and the shield, and I make him start shouting out stuff, and I'm still playing dumb. I'm sorry, I can't understand a word you're saying. And it's so funny. He starts shouting out stuff. It was really funny. And the other people I was with knew I was kind of messing with them. Because that's what I do with people. I shouldn't do that. But, so, you have your mask. Boring, right? Now, what you do is, Sharpie, or I guess you could use a dry erase. You do this, and don't I look more approachable in a grocery store versus just like this, kind of bland? If I have this, I'm more approachable. But if you don't want to be approachable, you just you just do a frowny face, and you're. This would probably be what I would do at a grocery. No, I would probably do this, or maybe just kind of a. You know, it's up to you how you do your. You don't have to be a good artist at all. Just do your best work. You know, um, like Bob Ross, hair boy. Um, however you guys want to do it, that's totally up to you, I guess. But that's what we're going to cover. And, of course, with all the time in the world, maybe work on your Spanish here, <clears throat> Spanish dictionaries and so on. And, um, yeah, so if you're getting a mask, I don't even know, can you buy them anywhere? I mean, 3M produces them, um, well, maybe they're online, I don't know. Okay, so, now, and, and I, I posted earlier on the, the Facebook machine that probably, and I looked at some of the weather models, and some of my weather friends might have to come up with, um, back me up on this, I'm not as good as some of the other people, but <clears throat> on, I think, April 1st, do the third, it's going to be like 70 degrees, and I was talking to a friend of mine, and he's all, you know what we should do, since we can't go anywhere, and 
and I don't know if I'm gonna show up to this. Um, they're gonna have like a like a nineteen eighties themed kegger off in a field somewhere because the you know you can't go. You know, it'd be like 80s music, you know, you pay your three bucks, you're given a red solo cup. 80s music, uh, the bonfire out there, of course, now that everyone's old, it'll be done by like 10 p.m. Uh, that's what people are going to do. I won't give the name of the person. Some of you probably already know who he would, is if I said the name. Oh, yeah, that would, you know, so off in a field somewhere, people would, um, sofas along the, the, you know, probably grab those and throw those out in the middle of the field. But the 70 degrees, I think someone was going to do a, a uh, 1980s style kegger since the drinking establishments aren't open. I probably won't be there, but um, bring your music. Um, you know, I should have someone do like a theme song for me here. But I do need like a guest host, but maybe we're not allowed to, who knows what's going to happen, so... Um, we're getting near the end of our uh, show here, but um, what, what I need you to do is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another show. I only have two suits, and um, yeah, this is the, this is one suit, and I'll either have to wear the same, like rotate the suits. This is my winter suit. I have a summer suit. I'll wear that next time. And, um, but it, 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 you're going to have to ask me questions, I guess that would be, and hopefully we can get the mayor here. I'll have, if I have a guest, I'll give him a Corona. Anytime the word Corona is, is stated, well, uh, take a sip. Yeah, so that, that, that's our show for tonight. Uh, we don't have any comedians or anything. Um. And uh, I guess we'll just uh, see you guys uh, next time. We already had a guest, uh, Liam, from across the street. Uh, like I said, if you need him for run, he has a car. He can run errands, I suppose, just uh, um, grocery store stuff or whatever. And I thought it's been a super show this evening. Um, we're nearing the end. Yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything I'm supposed to cover. Um, did I cover my passport situation? Yeah, it literally has a, did I cover this, the Chinese visa in here from January 12th? And then I'm going to bring a map. I was going to have a whiteboard with drought of the earth and where I've been. And uh, I can't honestly believe people are standing next to me. But I think I have seven, eight days left in quarantine and uh, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything I want to cover for the first show. It's been fun, everyone. And I guess we, to, to, to our first guest, yes, roll of to toilet paper and a, a semi-automatic rifle. It's just a 22, but uh, yeah, so that's for the zombie apocalypse. It's gonna, you know, I've had this thing for a long time. I have another rifle shotgun somewhere but uh cuban rum of course that the irony maybe you're some of you are wondering why I put cuban rum up there maybe some of you are seeing the underlining that's a prop purposely put up here cuban rum and uh all sorts of fun things uh, several hundred rounds of ammunition here but uh hopefully at uh, uh, a few more guests next week um like I said, the mayor, maybe we can get some local business people on if you want to stop over. And uh, thanks for watching. And this is where my theme music would play. Instead, I'm just ending transmission.